having to do with the uh, tourism board, the DMO. There are two members of that board, Greg Bricalli and Ralph Zimmerman, who are going off of the board due to the term limits. They've served their, um, their allowable terms, and they are recommending two new board members uh, to be appointed. They are Jan Morrissey, representing the Lebanon Historical Society, and Emily Longenecker, representing the real estate uh, market and downtown Lebanon CLA. Make a motion to appoint Jan Morrissey and em Emily Longenecker to visit Lebanon Valley Board. Second. It's been moved and seconded, and we also want to thank for their volunteerism, Greg Bocali and Ralph Zimmerman, who have rotated off. Any questions regarding the motion? If not all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. So moved. And I have uh, two ex uh, requests for exemption from real estate taxes for disabled veterans meeting the requirements of the, of the uh, exemption program, and they are Roger Hostetter of Main Street Anvil and Ronald Kess. As Marek of Jackson Avenue, Meyerstown. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the payroll, excuse me, the property tax uh, exemptions. Any questions? Very none. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. So moved. I do have one more ad, real quick, if I could. This is to do with the, uh, the loss prevention grant that we are. Uh, allowed through the Pennsylvania County Risk Pool, our insurance mm, yeah. liability, general <coughs> property and liability carrier, provides a grant each year for initiatives that are uh, intended to prevent loss, um, in either on property or liability uh, claims. And the safety committee is recommending this, we have a total of $30,000 in grants available. Typically we have come to you at the in May when it's the end of the period and just had a whole list, but we're allowed to apply for any portion of it any time. So the safety committee is recommending a uh, request for a portion of the grant of $3,990 for two pairs of generated low output voltage emitter, that's acronym GLOVE, uh, for the jail. And this is a, um, a device that's worn and when touched, it emits a low voltage that um, Immobilizer, I guess you'd say it's not. It's not quite the same as a taser, but it it provides its discomfort that brings people to you know uh, stop their behavior if, if it's physical behavior that sort of thing. Um, P Corp has reviewed this. There are other counties that have begun to use this as well with a lot of success. Uh, the sheriff's department, Brad Seifert, uh, who sits on our committee, uh, is also involved. I think with in seeing the demonstration for this. So we recommend drawing down $3,990 for those devices to be provided for the jail. Didn't we get some of those before? No. We've had um, Kevlar gloves for searches. Hmm. So that I thought I remembered them. Maybe I read about them somewhere. Oh, we need them. <coughs> okay. So I'll make a motion before. to get the two pairs of gloves for $39.90. <coughs> Second. We moved in second. It sounds like a uh, Boscov price, thirty-nine ninety. <laughs> uh, Boscov's just got a free plug. <laughs> you can edit the tape. Um, any questions regarding the motion? If not, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. So moved. <coughs> Does the guard wear the gloves? 